Welcome! My name is Bonnie Petrie. I'm one of the reference librarians, and I'm going to show you how to get articles this library doesn't have using Interlibrary Loan's ILLiad service. Whenever you run into a situation where you find an article that you need for your research and there's no full text, Interlibrary Loan can usually order it for you. Uh, ordered articles will be delivered electronically, and they usually come in about two to three working days, Monday through Friday. Uh, they can even come on the same day, depending on how far they have to go to get the item that you need. And this is a free service for students. So, do make use of it, and I'm going to show you how. I'm on the front page of the library's website, and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, and I want to show you the link that gets you access to your free Iliad account. It's right over here under our quick links, Request Interlibrary Loan. And you might be wondering what's the difference between the Iliad account for Interlibrary Loan and my library account. Let me show you a chart that I made. So the Iliad or Interlibrary Loan account allows you to order articles that we don't have. You can order in normal circumstances, which we're not in right now. In normal circumstances, you can order books and media and other kinds of things that are not found in the CSU system. And you can also keep track of your orders, look at what you've ordered in the past, what's going on with the present, and it also allows you to go in and pick up your articles electronically. My library account does different things. It is going to keep track of what you've got checked out from the FAO library. Uh, and again, during normal times, which we're not in now, um, you can order books from other CSU libraries, and my library account tracks those. And you can also pay fees or fines online. So those are the differences between those two accounts. I'm going to go back to the page, and I'm going to get into a database. I'm going to go to Choose a Database button. And we have over 150 databases here. We've divided them up into big subject areas. I'm going to scroll down and get into psychology and do a very simple search so we have something to look at here. I'm going to enter the PsycInfo database. And here we are in the PsycInfo database. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to click in the box for scholarly or peer-reviewed. I am not going to click in the box that says full text. If you see a box that says full text and it's sitting on the search screen of a database, do not click in it. Uh, you may have heard this hint before, but it bears repeating. Uh, if you click in that box for the full text and when it's on the search screen, it turns off a special system that we paid extra for that gets you the maximum amount of full text possible across all of our 150 databases. If you turn that off, you're just going to end up with the full text in that one database instead of getting everything that you possibly could get. So leave that box alone. Uh, we tried very hard, but we could not make them go away. So just ignore them if you see them on the search screen. But if you do see something for scholarly or peer-reviewed, that's a good box to click in. I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm putting in just a very simple search so we have an example to look at. Got 161 items in our list here. And what we're looking at are uh, the brief records for the articles. Uh, the title of the article comes first, and then the author's. And you can see the title of the journal. This one here is Accident Analysis and Prevention. And then the other parts of your citation, the volume, the issue, and your date, and your pages. And we're also getting some keywords here, some subjects. I want to point out the blue button here, Search for Full Text. That's the system that we paid extra for that gets you the maximum amount of full text possible. You're going to see that popping up everywhere throughout our databases. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm 
going to stop on number three. And let's say that we need this for our research, uh, exploring reasons for varying support for the status quo among Ontario's moose hunters. So I'm going to click on search for full text because I don't have HTML or PDF, anything else going on there. And it's automatically going to launch a search that will find it no matter where we have it, if it's possible. Ah, okay. So it's telling us that the file library does not have a copy. It does give us a reminder and a link uh, so we can check for a free version in Google Scholar. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see if we do. And although we're seeing our article come up here, it's just the brief information. If there was full text that was free, it would be over here on the right hand side. If you click through this title link here, you're going to find that they will gleefully charge you rather a lot of money for the full text of that article. So we can't get the article that way. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get this article through the Interlibrary Loans Iliad service. And so you can click the link right there. And what it's going to do is take you into your Iliad account. You can set up an Iliad account ahead of time before you even plan on using anything. Um, and you can do that from the front page of our website. Or uh, if you haven't set it up already, when you place your first order, it will remind you to complete that information. And it's just contact information so we can get in touch with you. I'm already logged on. And so since I clicked on that link to request it through our Iliad service, and because I already have an Iliad account, it's gone and pasted all of the details of the citation into the online form. So now all I have to do to order that is scroll down and click Submit Request. And now I don't really need this article, so I'm not going to click on that button. I want to scroll up and just show you a little bit of what your Iliad account will look like here. So you've got the online forms for different things. You're going to be using the one for article, which is the one we're on right now. And then here's the other sections that you can look at. Uh, if you send away for an article and it comes in, you're going to get an email that tells you it's ready to pick up. You go to our website, log in to your Iliad account. And once you're in, you're going to go to the section for electronically received articles. I'll show you this section in my account. And here I've got two articles that I've ordered. They will stay here for 30 days. And you can download them and keep a copy for yourself and use it for your research. You also have in the uh, menus here on the left-hand side, you can check what you ordered in the past and do some other things there. But we're just focusing on articles right now. And once you send for an article, remember it takes about three working days at the most. Uh, Interlibrary Loan will try to get it to you even more quickly if they can. And when you get that email telling you it's ready to pick up, you want to go to the front page of the library's website and go right here, Request Interlibrary Loan. Even though you're, you've already requested one and you've got one, uh, that's how you get into your account. And if I click there, it will take me back to my account since I'm logged in already. There's one other scenario that you may encounter, and that's when you are not online in a database with something to click on to see if we have the full text or not. And you want to be sure that you don't miss anything that we already have here uh, before you send away for an interlibrary loan. Maybe your professor told you, oh, there's this great article. This is the title. You have to look it up. Or maybe a friend did. Or maybe you found something that looked good in a printout uh, of an article uh, where they have a, the list of references and you found something that looks good. You want to find out if we have it here. This is what you do. 
You start off on our home page and you're going to use OneSearch. And here I've entered the title of the article that I have uh, heard about that I want to find. Tardigrades will outlast us all. And once you start typing in there, you're going to get this drop down menu and you want to choose articles. Now OneSearch will search all of our databases at once, which can be overwhelming if you're doing a subject search, but it's great when you want to find out, do we have the full text of something? Okay, so we do get an exact match. Tardigrades will outlast us all. There is our citation information there. And notice, I'm going to just scroll up a little bit here. Notice that our article says delivery options here, whereas the next one down says full text available. This is actually where it says in the green letters, full text available. This is one searches version of our blue button, search for full text. This has to look different there. This one is letting us know, oh, we're going to have to order something through interlibrary loan. So let's click on that. And again, we get that link that reminds us to check for a free version in Google Scholar. Let's see if we get lucky. And we're not lucky today. We don't even get a match for our article except in a list of references here, not the main thing. Okay, so back we go. And again, we'll click on Get This Article Through Interlibrary Loan, the Iliad Service. And it pops us right into the article request form, it fills it out for us. You want to take a look and be sure that it does a good job there. I see that it's a little bit off on this. It's got a little stray mark there. You might want to fix that before you actually click Submit. But that's how you would go about finding the full text of your articles through the Interlibrary Loans Iliad service. And that's the end of this workshop. Good luck on your research.